Okay, so you can't believe everything you read online, but we'd like to believe this. Laughing for 10 to 15 minutes burns about 50 calories. Whoa, our guests have already burned about 100 then. <laughs> Laughter could affect stress levels, your immune system, even blood flow. Now that we've made a case for laughter and your health, let's talk about why several stand-up comedians are getting together tonight. The Gigglers are here. From the Funny Bone, Daisy <laughs> Curtis, also with us, comedian Heather Jones. Good to see you. He has been giggling all morning. Guys. And, yes. and Heather, I'm just, you said you were going to make us a cake. And I then did. what, you just ran out of time? or what? I totally ran out of time. And then, well, in, you would have gotten at least half of the cake that we did have, but uh, <laughs> I'd like you got eaten. The gaggle of I don't know that it's, it's fair. Heather's a mom of six. It's not like she's lazy. She's raising all of these children. Right? Child That's labor. Tiny child story. labor you could have used. I know. I know. So, laughter. This okay. You're having this event. And this is tonight, mm -hmm. right? Yes, tonight. Um, laughter for life. Is that what it's called? Uh, laughs for life. Laughs for life. Yep. Based off Relay for Life, Bark for Life. Mm -hmm. It's a fundraiser That's for the American right. Cancer Society. How right. did it come about? Uh, five years. I've been. A Member of Relay for Life for 10 years. Uh, five years ago, we were looking into different ways to do a fundraiser, and Colleen was kind enough to offer the club. Colleen Quinn, the manager of the Funny Bone. Yes. And she said, here's the venue, organize something. Right. Has it been difficult to get comedians to sign on? Not at all. Mm -hmm. uh, comedians like Heather have been very generous with their time. Who's on uh, tonight, Heather? Who's, who's joining you? Who's <laughs> Who do you got? <laughs> Who's performing? <laughs> Who's going to make us laugh? Uh, let's see, we have Richard Reese, Nick Allen, oh. um, Chris Covey, Chris Covey uh, Ty Ingram, Ty Ingram and uh, Ron Moore. And you can and just Austin read the list Anderson. on the screen, Austin too, Anderson. if you'd oh. like to. You can just you read that. <laughs> oh, I didn't think good, you could right? read. <laughs> so what's the format with this kind of, you know, typically if we go to a show at the Funny Bone, we might see a couple of acts and then a headliner, or one and then the headliner. How does it go tonight that you can pack all of these people in? Uh, we're going to start off at 6. Mm -hmm. We'll have prize drawings and silent auction out in the bar area, uh, photo opportunities out there to tag yourselves on Facebook. And then inside the showroom, each of the comics are going to do about 10 minutes mm -hmm. each. And then we'll have Ron Mori close it out with about a half hour set. That's awesome. Cool. So what are you going to do with all those dollars? Of course, it, it, it goes to the association. Um, specifically, has it been earmarked for anything? Um, the American Cancer Society supports a lot of programs. Uh, they support advocacy. Uh, they do a look good, feel good program. So it's not just about finding a cure. It's about everything that entails with cancer. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they're doing a Hope Lodge for people that can't afford lodging or have to do treatments outside of town. Mm -hmm. This helps them stay somewhere where they can afford to go to their treatments. They do a, a ride program to where they yes. give patients a ride to their treatments um, so because what's the point of treatment if you can't get there yeah. so it goes to support all of their programs including the Hope Lodge that they're building here in Omaha. Why did you get involved 10 years ago? Was there a personal um, Yeah it was a personal connection I lost my grandfather when I was young um, and then more recently my uncle Kirk and my friend Mel had passed away and just last Sunday a good friend of ours Leslie Joy had passed away. Oh, yeah. What about you Heather is there a personal connection for you? Uh, yeah we it's uh, I have a large family, so you can imagine, like, if you have, uh, it's just, you know, we have you tons. know somebody. And Everybody, right. yeah. 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 And you, well, you have six kids, and, and when I come see you do stand up, I, you talk about your kids a lot because your life is very interesting. How, how is the fam? You're, they the are six great. Kids. They are great. And I think that's the reason I do it, too, is like, I, uh, one thing I've always, uh, uh, kind of been grateful for is being able to keep in perspective, like, when the kids have gotten sick and stuff, I'm like, you know what, but there's somebody out there to, that, that has a lot of it. Has to deal a with. lot of it mm -hmm. to deal with and is doing, you know, so I'm pretty lucky. And, uh, and my grandmother used to always, uh, she had eight kids and she, I'd send $5 to St. Jude every month because I know it could be, you know, mm. yeah. could be my one. kids. That's yeah. true. The kids, yeah. the, the, the multiple kids runs in your family. I mean, you have, you have a lot of kids in your family. <laughs> I don't your know. Your grandma had eight, uh, you have six. <laughs> They're very I'm not sure if that runs in the family or if it's maybe lack of. Of what? <laughs> You're getting a little terrible. Well, it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it anymore. <laughs> do your kids know that you talk about them and tell some of the stories you do? Uh, they want to know what I talk about, and usually I have to uh, lie. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Heather, is, she's, you see her now, right? And she's just, what a wholesome mom. And then she gets on stage uh, and she dirty. will make you, you are blush. Dirty. I, I, I it's kind of dirty. Girl, <laughs> I will not be dirty tonight. Uh -huh. uh, As dirty tonight. Is this a 21 and up anything. show? No, it's 18 and older. That's so good it's special. Know, yeah. yeah, very a rare. A lot of for college us. students always look out for those where they're, I'm not 21 yet. So they look for ways to get right. into the club on nights yeah. like this. 18 and older Another tonight. Season. So a great lineup, but most of all, it's the cause. We're raising money for Relay for Life with Laughs for Life. Uh, doors will open up around 6 o'clock, um, and so you're welcome to buy tickets. Call, or you can log
log on to funnyboatomaha.com to get yours. And Heather's going to keep it clean tonight. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Heather, thanks, thanks for your time. For Good to see you, Daisy.